Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Kate. Thank you so much for joining me for this 20-minute revitalizing yoga session. Feel free to elevate your hips and come to sit on a pillow or a block, placing your mat where you have a little bit of room around the outside. And please take a moment to dedicate this next 20 minutes to yourself. I will give lots of modifications, so please choose according to your fitness level, most importantly, how your body is feeling today. If you feel like resting at any time, feel free to rest in child's pose or downward facing dog. The next 20 minutes is dedicated to yourself. So let's take a moment to shut down the eyes, finding any comfortable position you wish. Legs can be splayed out in front, they can be crossed if they wish, or they can be off to the side. Take a moment to shut down the eyes, resting the hands somewhere on the thighs, elbows drawn in, and your shoulders are soft. Feel grounded through your hips, a long, tall spine lifting up through the crown of the head. Encouraging the eyes to shut down and without changing anything, simply be the witness. Listen to your breath. When you feel ready, just softly touching the lips and encouraging the breath to come in through the nose and exit out the mouth. As you continue, Exhaling out the mouth, feeling the shoulders continuously move away from the ears, softening, relaxing. As you continue with this breath work, see if you can elongate your exhalation. Smooth air coming in the nose, long, silky exhalation out the mouth. Welcome in a few more breaths, please. After your next exhalation, feel free to keep your eyes closed as we just start to welcome some gentle movement. You're welcome to stay on your pillow if you wish, but just bringing your arms behind you, turning the fingers so they face away from the body, elbows slightly bent. Bringing the feet up, spreading the toes nice and wide, feeling your core slightly engaged. When you're ready, just windscreen wiper in the legs side to side. There's no anchor here, so if your hip comes up, if a shoulder would like to turn, just allow that to happen. Once again, nice and tall and long through the spine, and feet can be as wide as they wish. I'm just getting a sense of how your spine is feeling. You're welcome to stay there if you'd like to raise an arm up, keeping that elbow slightly bent. That's your inhale and exhale, slowly coming back 
and the inhale lifting up feeling the ribs still tucked in but yet breathing into the side body once more each side and coming back to seated position crossing the legs if that feels comfortable and just take a moment to feel the lips touching softly this time we're going to start with the ujjayi breath so slowly dragging the air in through the nose and just a slight narrowing of the throat and exhaling out the nose as well softening through the shoulders and when you're ready you can take it back to that movement of windscreen wiping the legs with or without the arm we're trying to create that sound of the wind in the trees or the ocean in the back of the throat it's also a nice reminder to listen to your breath Feel free to stay with that or if you'd like to lean down on that bottom leg, maybe lift and hover the buttocks. If it's in your flexibility, you're welcome to lift the hips and open up through the front body. That's your exhale, inhale. Once more each side. When you're ready, if you do have a prop or a pillow, just removing it to the side. We're just going to lower ourselves down onto our back, engaging through the core and just slowly roll back, feeling that core engaged. Still a long, tall spine. Bringing the knees up to the belly, relaxing the back of the head on the floor and just starting a little bit of a rock. So if you like, you're welcome to stay completely on your back and just bringing the knees away and the head up. Or if you'd like to find a little bit more vigorous rock, you're welcome to. As you come up using your core as your brakes to stop your momentum. Lifting up through the crown of the head. As you come forward, if you'd like to take it further by bending and tucking that leg under and just reaching the crown of the head forward, core engaged. Maybe come to the other side. You're welcome just to stay with the rock if you wish. You might like to reach that arm forward. It's in your flexibility. You're welcome to lift through the glutes. A little bit more functional movement, bringing the legs in, bringing the heart rate up. Eventually, we're going to come up to a standing position. <laughs> so you're welcome to push through here if you wish, if that works for you, or if you just like to come forward. And we're going to start back in that squat to transition up to stand. Feel free to keep the hands in front if you wish. If you'd like to come up on the toes or flatten through the heels if you like. So take a moment just to settle into this position of malasana in a squat. When you're ready, we're going to lift the hips and we're going to slowly spinal roll up. So lift the hips, keep that generous bend to your knees as much as you need to. Ragdoll arms, slow, slow spinal roll, stacking each vertebra. Inhale, rise with the arms, feel the openness in the front of the body. And exhale, bring the hands down to your heart. Find a moment to have soft knees, long, tall spine. Find your breath. And releasing the arms and coming to the front of the mat, we bring a little bit more vigorous movement with our breath with a few variations of salutes to the sun. Find a nice grounding position, spreading the toes wide, placing them down. Feel your tailbone is long and the pelvis slightly moves forward. Roll the shoulders back a few times. 
welcoming that ujjayi breath. Lips touching softly, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Then in through the nose and out through the nose. See if you can keep that breath flowing. When you're ready, inhale, bringing the arms up. And bring the hands down in front of the forehead, hinging at the hips, bend, coming down into chair. Slowly fold forward, generous bend to the knees. Let's take a halfway lift, plant the hands wherever you feel comfortable. And exhale, slowly bow forward. Stepping your right leg back, back knee down or up if you wish. Let's sweep the arms back. So you're taking any compression out of the low back. Let's inhale, rise, come into cactus arms, open up through the front of the body. Inhale, stretch them high. And exhale, frame the front foot. Lifting the back knee, stepping back to downward facing dog. Come on high up to the tiptoes. Keep the knees bent. Take little tiny baby steps up towards the hands. Bend the knees, find that halfway lift again. Exhale, bow forward. Let's reverse swan dive up. So opening up the arms, strong core, strong legs. Inhale. And exhale, let's come down through chair again. Come forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, lower. And let's step the left leg back. Back knee down, or you can leave it up if you wish. Sweep the arms back. Feel this lovely length coming through your spine and your neck. Inhale, rise. Cactus arms. Inhale, stretch high. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Your choice to stay in down dog or find a rest or if you'd like to flow forward into plank coming through a vinyasa. Through full chaturanga or knees down. Maybe just baby cobra hands in Activate your legs. Exhale, lower. Meeting back and down dog, maybe up through your knees. Lifting the hips. Looking towards the front of the mat. Little tiny baby steps up towards the hands. And let's reverse swan dive up again. Inhale. And bring the hands to the heart, soften through the shoulders. Stay with your breath. Find two more breaths, please. And your next exhale, let's drop the arms, energize them, reach up high. Gazing towards the hands, if that's available for you. Let's swan dive forward, hinging at the hips, knees bent as you wish. Long exhale. Halfway lift, stretch through the crown. Exhale, slowly lower. I'm gonna spine a roll up from here, stacking each vertebra on top of one another. Inhale, arms up. And exhale as we come down, sliding into chair pose. Feel free to adjust your feet if you wish. We're gonna our hands into Namaste. Draw the elbows in, lifting your lower belly in and up. Lift through the crown of your head. And see if we can keep this chair pose. Feel free to straighten the legs and stand at any time. Ready, open up the arms into cactus. So just like bellows, bringing them in and open. Again, in. Squeeze the sit bones, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, 
feel free to stay or stand at any time. Otherwise, taking your right leg back, planting that back heel. Stay with your breath. Feel free to stay here, or if you'd like to take half a step in, we're gonna come into warrior three. So feel free just to have the toe on the floor. You may like to lift that leg if you wish. Anchor leg slightly bent, core engaged. Feel free to stay, or maybe you'd like to open up the arms into cactus again. Stay with your breath. Exhale, slowly lower. Let's bend that anchor leg, step the back leg down to the floor. Let's open up into warrior. Stay with your breath. Front palm up, let's come into reverse. Reach that right arm down, lifting up through the left arm. Let's exhale, come forward. Either just hover that arm or rest the arm, lifting that right arm up. Feel free to gaze to the side or maybe up to the ceiling. Let's inhale, come back to reverse again. And let's exhale, cartwheel the arms as we lift the back heel. Frame the front foot, step back to down dog. Your choice to stay in downward dog or rest here. Or if you'd like to flow forward through a vinyasa, coming into plank, maybe down through upward dog. Or if you'd like to just come into full cobra, stay with your breath. One more breath, meeting back in downward facing dog. Find one breath here. Tiptoes, bending the knees as much as you need, coming forward. Let's find that halfway lift. Exhale. Reverse swan dive up or spinal roll, completely your choice. Come down into that chair position, hands in namaste, trying to draw the elbows as close as you can. Stay with your breath. And let's open them. And exhale, squeeze. Feel your shoulders just becoming more open, soft. One more time, inhale. Stepping the left leg back, maybe just a half stance this time. Feel free to stay exactly here. If you'd like to come forward into warrior three, activating that back leg. Arms can stay here or any place where you feel supported. If you'd like to open them up into cactus arms, stay with your breath. Together, if they're open, slowly planting that back leg, back heel. Let's open up into warrior two. Settle the shoulders down, away from the ears. Find two breaths, please. And front palm up. Let's come in to reverse. Stretching up, reaching down. And exhale, come forward, just resting or hovering, or if you'd like to reach for the floor. Then back to reverse, feel free to straighten that front leg or wrap the back arm. Your next exhale, bend that front leg, cartwheel the arms forward, frame the front foot, and step back to downward facing dog. Stay, rest if you wish. If you'd like to find a vinyasa coming forward and into plank, maybe full chaturanga, up dog or down to the knees. As you find a back bend of your choice, reach your heart forward. Exhale, slowly lower. 
meeting back and downward facing dog. I mean, high up on the tippy toes, little baby steps forward, feeling your spine lengthen. Let's find a halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Knees as bent as you like. You may like to grab the elbows, sway a little bit. Let the crown of the head be heavy. When you're ready, planting the hands, I'm gonna come back into Malasana, that squat. You may like to turn the toes out. You're welcome to come down onto one knee if that suits you. We're coming down into Malasana, settling the tailbone long, lifting up through the crown. Hands can be wherever you feel supported. You may like to bring your hands to your heart. Find two breaths here, please. Free to stay a little bit more vigorous if you'd like to lift your heels, really stimulating the big muscles in the legs. Maybe you'd like to press the ankles forward. Stay with the breath. Two more breaths if you'd like to reach forward, taking temple mudra, crossing the fingers and the thumb, index finger pointing out, reaching forward. Heels are up, slowly bringing them down. Bringing the hands behind you, bringing the buttocks down to the floor. Just press the feet out from you. Take a moment to bring the arms back, having the pink fingers pointing towards you and just squeezing through the shoulder blades, feeling that openness in your chest. When you're ready, slowly lowering your upper body down to the floor. Core engage as slowly as you can. And when you're ready, bringing the knees up to the belly and see how much you can flatten your spine if you can. So you wanna feel your tailbone long. Back of the head is on the floor. Maybe a little rock side to side. And let's take a spinal twist here. Now take a moment to feel that your spine is nice and straight on the floor. Your heels are in line with your sit bone. And when you're ready, just lift the hips up and just shuffle them over to the right. Then just allow the knees to fall over to the left side. You're welcome to open up the arms if you wish. A little bit more energetic of a twist. You're welcome to reach the arms up, maybe link the fingers. So bringing the crease of the elbow up just above the crown of the head. Find your breath here. And gentle engagement through the core as you press the lower back and the hips into the floor, coming back up. Straightening the spine. When you're ready, shuffling the hips off to the left. Just slowly bring them over to the right. Free to open the arms, bring them up, reaching crease of that elbow towards the crown. Ready, engaging through the core, slowly coming back and straightening out the spine. <clears throat> when you're ready, just press the heels away from you. Open up through the palms, have the elbows nice and soft. Just take a moment to feel all of your muscles sink into the floor.
Allow your breath to be however it may at this time. Find five or six breaths here, just allowing the breath to be however it may. Allow the eyes to shut down. Feel as if the body is so heavy, you can't even lift finger. Feeling the belly rise, feeling the belly fall. Some slow, gentle movement to fingers and toes. Just allowing the head to rock side to side. Just taking a slow roll over to your right side, just for a breath or two. Pressing the hands into the floor, slowly rising. And exhale as your head comes above the heart. And finding any comfortable position. Your spine is long. Resting the hands to soften the shoulders. Just find three breaths here, please. ever grateful for our health and this wonderful support around us. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me.